Yeah, we are in an era of unprecedented change. And it's not just the amount of change that's happening. It's the speed at which that change is happening. Every day we're waking up to a new issue that maybe we could forecast the night before, but not always. And so that idea of the breadth of the change and the speed of the change is really important. I think there's a lot that HR professionals can do to make sure that they are staying grounded as this change happens. The first thing is stay connected to your business strategy. I think we can sometimes lose our way when we're chasing the topic or the issue of the day, and maybe it's an issue that isn't something we need to weigh in on. Or maybe it's an issue that, given our business strategy, has a very clear answer. So make sure that you're staying very grounded in the business strategy and using that to help guide your response, the company response. The second thing that I think is very important is that given this rate and pace of change, every organization has to have as its core principle continuous learning. That is what is going to prepare leaders and the workforce to constantly be evolving and changing. And it may be on a specific technology. It may be on their actual job roles that are changing, or it may be on a societal issue that they'll need to think differently about. But all of this continuous learning is really important. And many companies say continuous learning is important. And it's easy to talk about as an idea, but I think HR professionals need to make sure that it's plumbed into the systems in their organization. Is continuous learning recognized in your organization, rewarded in your organization? Is it factored into how leaders get appointed or individuals get promoted? So that's a second piece that is really important and very operational, but it's what allows that system to continue to live. And rather than just being an idea, it is something that is actually happening in your organization. Yeah, as we think about excellence going forward as HR professionals, I think there was a period of time where we would have said it was really about deep domain expertise, probably with a wrapper around it, around some core leadership skills, communications, presence, strategic thinking. That all holds. So that's still all required. (laughs) And now there are new elements that I think make a modern HR professional. This idea of continuous learning, this idea of transparency, this idea of how do you ensure that you're getting real-time feedback from the users. None of us are in organizations anymore that just because something came tops down from corporate and you demand that people use it or do it, it doesn't work. So this idea of those continuous feedback loops and do you know where to get that information and test it and try new ideas is another really important piece of this. But I will stress, I still think domain expertise is important. I know a lot of people say in the era of AI, doesn't domain expertise go away? And I think it's more and more important to get deeper in your area so you can see trends coming and that you understand what the next strategic pivots are. 